I'm genuinely curious. How many of you think we're going to actually, no, I don't want your notifications. Uh, how many of you actually think we're going to get a 85% performance increase with the RTX 5090 inside of video games? Or do you think it's going to be some stupid 85% misleading bullcrap leak that was like aimed towards chat GPT responding to us 85% faster? I'm going to go ahead and guess that we got an RTX 5090 that will be 80% faster. That's what's going to be announced. And then we're all going to get it. And ChatGPT is going to be 80% faster when it, with it, when it responds to me, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to say we ain't we ain't got some, some cool stuff to be looking forward to. But Borderlands 4 gameplay, thought it was kind of interesting. Wanted to share it with you. No idea how many Borderlands guys and girls are uh, watching this, but I think it's a pretty fun game. Not that it's like the most graphically intense game for the 5090. So right here, let's go up, go back to the NVIDIA Tizen, the GeForce RTX 50 series at CES of 2025. I know that we are uh, really already kind of explained the article here with us just kind of guessing at what is going to be announced. But if we uh, come up here, we go here, click this. Whoa there, buddy, relax with your audio. Oh, copyright strike. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, NVIDIA, for stealing your 25 years of greatest footage. <laughs> Yo, actually, what is your favorite PC game of all time? Like, actually, like, not even new. Like, what's your favorite? I remember playing Jazz Jack Rabbit. How many of you are old enough to have played that game? That and mini clip games as well in computer class. Live, watch it. Super, super hype. Do you, see, you know what sucks, though? Is that we've gotten to a point where, like, these events that are being held, man, I gotta be real with you. I don't even look forward to them anymore. And the reason I don't look forward to them anymore, dude, is because they're all so misleading. It's not just NVIDIA. It's not just Intel. It's not just AMD. It's like every single company that holds events like this. Like, seriously, like we got Ubisoft announcing 400 games and 399 of them are going to release and suck. Then we got Sony releasing their PS5 that still to this day, we even, even with the PS5 Pro, we still don't have any games that actually play at 8K, even though we were told it was going to be playing at 8K, which to be completely fair, anybody that actually believed that is a, is a moron in the first place. But you get my point, bro. It's like every single company just like lies out of their rear end and it's freaking annoying because like then you don't you don't look forward to nothing anymore. Mute it. Oh, I didn't even do it. Well, boom. Watch it on the YouTube. All right. So this is a pretty long pretty long trailer right here and i'm probably gonna get copyright for this one right the gearbox right, what do we got with quality here all right you ready for this can you see a difference there's no difference between 720p and 1440p ready oh really oh my god there's so a difference i don't care what none of you say ready kaboom oh it actually kind of fits in my wobble-sided mr uh Oh my god, that's 24 FPS. That's not fucking 60. Are you out of your mind? Borderlands 4. That is so... Okay, that's 60 frames per second. I was going to say, bro, that... No, 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 no. That's not fucking 60 frames per second. Dude, it's so funny. Because it's like... Back in like... It's so funny how stuff works, right? Like, because like... So, back in the day, we got like 240p TVs... And we're all like, oh, it looks so great. Like 480p isn't even needed. And then you go to a, you, like you start watching 480p and you're like, oh my God. And then you try to go back to 240p and it's like, it's disgusting looking. And then we go up to 720p and then 1080p. Actually like 720p and 1080p kind of came out at the same time. So like just Elgato as an example, like back, back in my day, Elgato could only like record at 1080p 30 frames per second or 720p 60 frames per second and everybody was uploading 720p 60 frames per second because they thought it looked so much more superior to 1080p 30 frames per second <laughs> now we got 4k and everyone's oh you can't even tell the difference in 4k but then anybody that gets like a 4k 240 hertz monitor bro it's like you can't even go back to 1080p anymore or even look at 1080p because it looks all miscombobulated and nasty and stuff and i know you guys don't know what i'm talking about like even playing games like it's i don't know man it's just me but like like so when you like because i build computers obviously and if you look at uh 
like when you when you first set up a computer it like it it's like 1080p 30 frames per or 29.96 or whatever they freaking the 29 frames per second there is that's what it's always sets it sets it at default and you're like oh my god i'm gonna puke and the first thing i have to do every single time is go into my display settings and up that crap oh my god it's fucking <laughs> it's so funny because like it's true because we're all like saying oh we're well uh like 4k is you can't even tell a difference with between 4k and 8k and as soon as we're all of it all able to like start buying 8k tvs and stuff <laughs> <laughs> like like four years down the road none of us are going to be able to look at 4k anymore even though like right now it just looks beautiful and we're all like oh my god it's like nothing's gonna be better than this <laughs> and then like so like by the time we're all like 50 years old bro we're gonna have like 40k televisions that are like 3d popping out and in, in, into our faces <laughs> and so yeah dude i don't know because, I mean, you think about it, like, what resolution do you think we actually see at? Because it's so awkward because, like, you, I don't know. But let's come back here. AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395 Strix Halo. APU with 16 cores and Radeon 8060S. RDNA with 3.5. IGPU benchmarked. Oh, my God. You know that that was AI SEO... <laughs> whatever there ain't no way no human actually freaking thought of that title that was absolutely ai seo whatever you call the word when it outputs something i forget what that's called actually he might have thought about that those people are pretty smart so amd's top strip <laughs> so amd's top strix halo apu Horizon, <laughs> dude i'm not reading that why you got like four different of the same things get out of here okay so this is the benchmark vulcan score to be honest dude, the new ai cpus are pretty wild um the new uh the geekum i actually have one like sitting right underneath my tv down there um the new mini pcs with the the horizon 9 or whatever ai 9 Dude, the, the new names of everything are wild. So the the new Intel and I haven't used the new Intel CPU, but the new AMD CPU is is pretty pretty crazy uh, as far as like gaming goes. Like we're actually playing games at 1440p for the most part. Not all games, but like Spider Man can be played at 1440p. Uh, Forza has been able to be played with it with an integrated graphics at 1440p for a while now. That game is so well optimized. Um, Cyberpunk can be played at 1440p. There you go. There's a good example. Cyberpunk can be played at 1440p. So most games can be played at 1440p unless it's just an absolute potato of a freaking potato. So we got Ryzen SKU. What do we got over here? Oh my goodness. You actually let me. What? Oh, wow. They're all that. AI Max. What the fuck are these? Hold up. Oh, I appreciate you, Elgato. Are you really going to fucking do that to me? I saw it flicker. I know all you guys are like, yo, what happened to his webcam? I freaking hate it, dude. It's so annoying. Like, I... Appreciate you, Elgato. 4K webcam link. It only makes your webcam flicker every 40 minutes. It does, and it's so fucking aggravating because I have no idea when it's going to start flickering. It's, it's beyond irritating. I come over here properties we got 4k auto select oh maybe that's why but okay, video format i'm just going to go to any and we got record color space 709 i'm just going to keep it at default what do we got here color range default limited full oh my god that doesn't look very good actually does it look very good What am I, why am I even doing this? <laughs> okay, hold up, full. Oh, that looks like gamma is like uh, more. But that's also dark. Default. 
I kind of like that to be honest. Buffering disabled. Okay. Maybe you'll not fuck up now. All right. So, um, anyways, I'd be on. I was gonna. I was gonna Google it. Okay. I don't know why. Are these like actually, brother? All right. Hold up. AMD AI CPU. Why am I unaware of these? Not the correct CPU. Get the fuck out of here. Hold up. Yeah. Copy. Paste. Paste. Are they like not out yet or something? Is that why I'm unaware of it? I've been so out of the blue. Your boy's been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> I haven't been. It's so weird. It's so crazy how you like. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Fuck you and your stupid article that didn't even form me that shit. So we got here compared to the lunar lake and the new benchmarks. Okay, so this this one actually. Compared to Intel, what do you mean? Compare okay, we do have Intel. Alright, so we got the Or it's kind of compared to Intel, I, I guess. But either way, I was gonna say, dude, I've been so out of the blue. I haven't been watching much YouTube, and it's crazy how like just not being on YouTube, how like out of the blue you become so quickly, you know? It's wild. Super wild. But I got sick of it, bro. It's like I don't know about you, man, but I can, please tell me I'm not the only one that noticed like all these script It's getting it's hard to watch people at this point There's like a handful of people that I actually watch still because it's like Everybody does the same shit, bro, you know, it's fucking it's not fun to watch <laughs> Not to me at least so the new Nintendo switch 2 leak has surfaced I'm curious to what this thing is actually gonna be capable of like are we actually gonna at least get yuzu quality are we, are, is Nintendo like actually just going to use Yuzu and allow us to play games at not shit quality? Which everybody's going to be, I love my Nintendo Switch. I like my Nintendo Switch too, but I do like my Yuzu emulator a lot more. Which I'm not going to show gameplay of because Nintendo's a nose picker. <laughs> so anyways guys, well hold up. We got Nintendo Switch 2 leak, silicon. Where do we got the, the stuff that we need to... Uh, All right, so we got an OLED screen, obviously. There's definitely no words here, 4K. So we're definitely gonna have 1080p potato, right? Cause isn't it 720p right now? Like the handheld, isn't it 720p? And then when you dock it, it's 1080p. So we're probably gonna have like 1080p freaking. which to be fair, 1080p, I can't like notice too much of a difference with the handheld and just so we're clear oh i can tell a difference or i can't tell a difference dude okay i want you to i want you to take your phone right now like right now okay and i want you to go to your screen settings okay and i want you to go from qhd or whatever the frick your phone is and i want you to lower it to hd and you tell me your little puny ass phone you can't tell a difference i want you to be honest with that one okay you can absolutely tell the difference, but it's like it's not terrible. It's not like it's not like looking at a 1080p monitor <laughs> Which which there's a huge fucking difference. I don't care what nobody says. I'll show you this right now. Hold up Actually, I don't want to do that because it might corrupt OBS <laughs> I was gonna go ahead and set it to 1080p really quickly. Hold on. All right, where do we got? We got over here. All right, hold up. Watch this ready. All right, we're gonna do this this way. All right, so come back here. All right, so this is fucking, that's definitely not, okay, so let's come over here to the gameplay. All right, this is the 60 frames. All right, so we're at 1440p. You ready for this? 1080p. You see the blur? Okay, look, so the 1080p, there we go. All right, you ready for this? Okay, I gotta be honest. Okay, there we go. Hold up, get the fuck out of here. There's no way this is 4K. Nah, I don't believe it. That's not 4K. Oh my god, okay, it is. Never mind. It's just YouTube's friggin' 
You saw that, right? Okay, well, look at his face. Ready? Look at his face. You ready for this? Oh. You can actually see his face now. Hey, what's up, face? And and lady got girl over there. And then we, we come over here and go to 1080p and watch. It's all freaking washed out and blurred. See? Oh, I can't tell a difference. My ass. <laughs> and that's with YouTube's fucking compression, too. So, <laughs> so it's even worse in front of your face. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. Um, I know it's nothing like super serious, bro, but I'm actually super excited for Borderlands 4. That's Borderlands is a fun game, you know? It's just crazy how long. It's crazy how long, like, Borderlands takes from game to game i forget the other i forget how long it was for borderlands 3 i know it was a long time it was a really 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 long time and they're like they're, it's like gearbox is like hey we're gonna wait 20 years to release our new game because we don't want to pull a ubisoft or an activision or a other company and give you a game that is an absolute chip fest and we need 5,000 updates for it to be playable um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. Catch you guys next one.